Hey there. This week's podcast episode is no podcast episode. We're taking a break this week from producing The Anxious Truth because I'm just buried in schoolwork right now. For those of you who do not know, I'm in a master's program on the way to becoming a licensed therapist. And I have a bunch of final projects to do this week. And also, uh, Josh Fletcher and I are launching a new podcast very, very shortly. And I've been working on that this week. Also, that podcast is called Disordered. So if you want to learn about that, go over to disordered.fm and you can see what's going on over there and get on the mailing list so we can let you know when we launch. But today, I just wanted to take a couple of minutes and point you at some old podcast episodes that my Facebook group, at least, appears to find very, very helpful. I asked yesterday, what are your favorite uh, podcast episodes? And this is what came up. So I'm going to point you at a little bit of the back catalog of The Anxious Truth. And I have some notes here. Stick with me. So the two episodes of the podcast, and by the way, if you're listening to this as a podcast, all of these episodes are on whatever podcast app you're on right now. Uh, they're also all on my website. So if you just go to theanxioustruth.com slash and then the number of the podcast episode, you'll get them there too. And if you're watching on YouTube, all the podcast episodes are also here on YouTube. So the two episodes that people kept coming back to over and over in the Facebook group are episode 150, which is called How Do I Talk to My Anxiety? And in that podcast episode, I spent some time talking about how the only way that you can communicate with your anxiety is through action and experience, not through words or thoughts. So people love that one. And the second one that came up as a favorite podcast episode is episode 5151. So the anxious truth.com slash five one, which is called panic attacks, colon, the critical moment of decision. And I relayed my own experience with having a panic attack while I was out on my mountain bike uh, and what you have to do in that moment where you decide to either surrender to it or fight it and what that means for the rest of the day or the rest of the week or the rest of the month after that. And that one's a really popular episode too. So that's episode 51. So I have a couple of old episodes that have to do with exposures and how to do exposures and what to expect from them and common misconceptions and mistakes about exposures. Those episodes are episode 13, which is from way back in 2014. I sound different, and the podcast had a different name back then. Uh, episode 77 is about that. Episode 192 is about that. And episode 226 are about that. So we have 13, 77, 192, and 226. And 226 is the, the most recent one where I talked about the difference between habituation and inhibitory learning and why some people don't understand that, get that wrong, and find that their exposures are not getting anywhere. So check those out. And a related episode that I'm going to throw in is episode 116, which is an episode about trying to ignore anxiety. Because some people think, oh, well, when I do my exposures, Drew tells me that I have to just ignore it. And that's not true. So in episode 116, that might help you with the exposure work. I talk about the difference between trying to ignore anxiety versus trying to obtain a state of non-reactive acknowledgement, and that's important. Um, a topic that everybody asks me about quite often is medication use. I almost never talk about it, but I did three podcast episodes, 145, 146, 147, where I tell my entire personal story with medication. I used antidepressant and SSRI. So 145, 146, 147, those podcast episodes, that's a three-part sort of mini-series that goes through my entire experience with medications. If you're interested, you can listen to that. And I also explain in those podcast episodes why I don't talk about medication. Um, and a related episode is one I did not too long ago in the last six months or so with Jen Swantowski. That is episode 223 because Jen is a therapist uh, down in Texas who is going through benzodiazepine withdrawal. And she came on the podcast and shared her experience with that. And her words will sound very familiar to you if you go and listen to that. That was episode 223. And finally, the other podcast episodes that everybody really loves are the anxiety success stories. So again, wherever you happen to be, you can just search for success story because they all pretty much have that in the title and you will find all of the success stories. They're all in on my YouTube channel. They're in a playlist. Go to my channel and go to the playlist. You'll see success stories. And if you go to my website, theanxioustruth.com, I also have them categorized as success stories or you could just search for the word success. Anyway, so that is this week in a nutshell. No new podcast, but I will be back next week. Uh, I just wanted to 
point you at some of the popular episodes that are sort of in the Anxious Truth back catalog. Go check them out if you don't know them. I hope you find them helpful. Thank you for listening. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for staying with me for so long. And uh, again, check out the new podcast with Josh Fletcher. It's called Disordered. Go to disordered.fm and you'll be able to see what's going on there. If you're watching this in the future, then it's already out and you can check all the episodes there. So, all right, guys, have a great week. I will see you next week with a new podcast episode. Thanks for hanging in there.